filmmakers and welcome back to another studio vlog you know before we get started i think i'm gonna go change really quick i'll be right back <sighs> much better <laughs> hello again makers welcome to stitching the high notes i'm joanna and this is a youtube channel all about knitting and sewing and living a creative simple life I also share a behind the scenes look of my small online business where I make project bags for makers. And I just got my hair cut. Finally, I got all of the pandemic hair off. I feel like I've shed a skin. It is, that sounds really gross, but I'm so happy and I feel like myself again. And I feel like my inside can now be represented on the outside as well. And I, I'm so happy with it. If you've been a long time viewer, you will know that I usually have a bob and then I started out with one pre-pandemic, so it grew quite a bit. I think I got about eight inches off today, which is pretty amazing. Long overdue, but was happy to wait until it was safe. I'm fully vaccinated now. My hairdresser is vaccinated as well, and it was just, oh, I can't tell you how good it feels. <laughs> so good. So I hope that you have been well. Uh, I'm recording on a Sunday, a little bit later than usual because I wanted to share my haircut and also do a couple of things, get a little bit further on my knitting, which I wanna share with you. We'll just hop right into it. Oh, before I start though, actually I wanted to quickly say thank you all so much for your uh, excitement and support of my latest shop update last week. All of the bags are now on their way or have started to arrive in home. So thank you so much. I'm so happy that you love the bags and I'll have uh, some more updates of what's to come in the next couple of months at the end of this episode, at the end of this vlog. So knitting, I have my sock. Uh, I'm doing a, I'm in between sweaters right now. I finished my tender sweater last week. I love it. I'm so glad that you love it as well. Thank you for your comments. And I. it's so much fun knitting something with you all and sharing the journey of it. That's why I do the YouTube channel. Uh, and I'm really eager to cast on something new, but in between I'm doing a couple of sock uh, projects for fun. I'm making socks for my mom, which is primarily what I do these days. And I'm making, I'm trying out a new to me pattern, the sweeter or, or sweet uh, vanilla socks. They're toe up by Jules Hill of So Sweet Violet. And I'm making out of this really pretty yellow color, uh, which is Roly Poly by Plies and Hellhounds. And it's in her uh, singles base. It's a single ply yarn, which isn't optimal for socks, but it's perfect for bed socks, which is what I am knitting these for for my mom. I'm on the gusset right now, so I'm starting to increase there on the side, you can see. And I'm trying a new heel, which is the Godet heel, I believe is how you say it. Um, so I'm really eager to work on this throughout today and show you the progress as I go. Uh, I did started the gusset this morning, which you might have seen. I got to six and three quarters uh, from the toe up for the foot, uh, and then you start the gusset increase. So, and the uh, toe is is looking pretty good. It's a beanie toe, which is a new toe to me, and I shared the hilarious journey of my of my miscounting or reading the instructions wrong and and it looked so weird I can't remember I was talking to my friend Denise the other day and I was like what does that look like and it reminded me of the toes uh I will not show a picture but the toes of the witches from Roald Dahl's witches <laughs> they don't have toes essentially and I was like yeah I look like I was making socks for Angelica Houston or something so we're back on track with these they're really really lovely I'm using a 2.5 millimeter needle magic loop that's a size up needle than what I usually use uh, for my socks uh, so yeah, I'm really, really excited. The Progress Keeper is a gift from my dear friend Denise who I just mentioned, Earth Tones Girl. 
It says, do what makes you happy. And I've been living by this the last couple of weeks. It's really a, such a good anchor and reminder. And I really love this stitch marker. I might start putting it on all of my projects because it's just a really good center and grounding um, thing to look down on when you're doing a very centering and grounding thing like knitting. So yeah, I'll show you the progress throughout the day because I want to try to finish up the heel as much as possible uh, by the end of this vlog, we shall see. And then I think I'm gonna wind up a cast on later tonight uh, and really work on tomorrow. Uh, this beautiful yarn I just picked out for my stash behind me. This is by Yarn Cafe Creations. Uh, the yellow yarn, uh, is on purpose and the green yarn color is on purpose because it is for the Rainbow Sock Chronicles hosted by uh, Lay Family Yarns and uh, So Sweet Violet. And May is green for green socks. And I'm gonna be doing a test knit that I will share with you all when the pattern, when it's a-okay to share the pattern. Uh, and I'll be working on this uh, the next couple of days and then finishing up finishing them up uh, throughout the week. This colorway is called uh, Nightmare on Elm Street. So it's a Halloween colorway, <laughs> but I thought it kind of looked very springy and kind of like the grass with all the different various um, flowers popping through. And it's the, I really want to try this base. It's a biscotti sock fingering weight. So it's a 85% superwash merino and 15% nylon. Usually uh, sock bases are used 80% uh, superwash merino and 20% nylon. So this has a little bit more of a wooly feel. There's a little bit of a halo to it. I don't know if you can kind of see more than a usual sock base. So I think it's gonna make a pair of really lovely socks. I'm gonna do a shorty version of the sock because really what I'm test knitting is the, uh, I believe it's really just the heel and gusset and that pattern. I don't know what this hand movement is, so I I can make them shorty socks. She said, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. So I'll wind this up uh, later tonight, and you'll see progress on that in the next vlog. But what else has been going on? I um. I'm just gonna take you throughout the rest of the day. I'm gonna enjoy my hair for a little bit more. <laughs> it definitely needs to spring up a little bit. It's a little bit in shock, but I'm surprised that it actually got a little bit of its curl and wave back already after being so weighed down for so long. Um, but I can only imagine in probably a couple of more washes, it's gonna have its full curl back again and wave again. <sighs> I love it so much. I feel so happy with it. I also want today to do something with some strawberries that I have in my fridge before they go bad. I'm between making, I might make both, we'll see, but do a little cooking segment, which I haven't done in a while. I might make some chia uh, jam out of the strawberries, which I've made before, I think. Um, but I'm kind of craving um, strawberry shortcake because it's that time of year. Plus it's Mother's Day today, so happy Mother's Day to everyone out there. And uh, strawberry shortcake just seems like a, a nice kind of quasi summary because it's really warm out to treat. So I'm gonna get to knitting and I'll check in with you all in a little bit.
finished the gusset increases on my sock uh, and now it's time for the heel. I've divided the stitches on the instep or on the sole rather um, part of the sock. Uh, and then I'm gonna be doing some short rows and stuff. It is a paid forward pattern, so I won't give you too many details, but I look forward to sharing more throughout this vlog as well as on the next vlog too, which by the way, before I forget, I won't be having a vlog next week. I'm gonna be going up to see family for a good long stretch. I'm so excited, but I will be back the following week and of course over on Instagram throughout, throughout the week. Speaking of, there's my mom. I need to FaceTime her for, fa for uh, Mother's Day. But I'm also, before I get to the short rows of this, I'm going to make some shortbread, some grain-free shortbread, uh, strawberry shortcake, if you will, uh, to use up my strawberries. I decided not to do the chia seed jam because my chia seeds are a little bit expired, I guess. They're just not, they wouldn't bloom as well in any liquid. Uh, and this sounds really delightful. I don't have any coconut milk to make um, whipped cream, but I do have some coconut milk ice cream that I think would be really lovely on it. So let's get to baking. yum it looks so good it smells so good and I don't know if you can still st see the steam is coming up from the biscuit from the shortbread <gasps> let's try it out not too bad for making do with what I had <laughs> in my kitchen mm. 
Love that ice cream. Okay, now let's try it with the biscuit. Shortbread, whatever you want to call it. Shortbread biscuit. Get some of the ice cream. That is really good. That is a keeper. That is good. Dang. <laughs> so I made a few substitutions, which I might have shown you already, but I didn't have coconut milk. So for the batter for the biscuits, I used what I had on hand, which was walnut milk, actually. I've been using that just because it's been in stock at my grocery store and I really like it. It's a nice, um, it's a nice flavor to it, which means that the biscuits were a little bit darker in color, I think, partially because of that. Ooh, I'm like salivating. And of course, they didn't have the whipped cream, which would be really good, but this ice cream is really good. This is from a company called Daily Harvest um, that I've been getting every two or three weeks. I'll get a subscription box of pre-made food um, that I really love. It's all uh, no chemicals, just straight up organic ingredients, um, and you can select items based on your dietary needs. And I like that all of their packaging is for the most part compostable as well as definitely recyclable. So it's not, you know, zero waste. It's not the best option, but when you're in a pinch, if you're a single lady like myself and are needing um, single servings of stuff, it's actually less waste in the long run, I'm finding. So I'm, I'm liking it and it's a pretty good uh, cost. You can really select how many items you want. You, some weeks you can skip and you know, you're know you not beholden to um, a set amount each week like some other services. So it's really good. But I'm going to eat this. This is basically my dinner because I had a huge lunch. Um, I picked up some lunch <laughs> when I came back from getting my hair cut. I'm going to chow down on this before it totally melts. Uh, and then do a little bit more on my sock. Before I do that, actually, just before I forget, I really want to make sure I mention a really exciting thing that's coming up um, or that's available now that I mentioned in an IGTV video the other day over on Instagram is that I'm doing another collaboration with an indie dyer, this time with Trilogy Yarns, Nancy, and she is uh, making a Halloween advent box or advent calendar, uh, which is now available over on her website, trilogyyarn.com. All of the information will be down below, and I'm providing an exclusive uh, bag, a drawstring bag for the calendar. Uh, I'll have all of the details here on, this, on the screen of what is provided in the box. It's so exciting, and the theme, the Halloween theme is my favorite movie, for Halloween, Practical Magic. I'm so excited. We are so thrilled to be collaborating. Nancy is wonderful, so definitely go check that out. I need to eat this because I'm selling, but go check it out on her website. It's available now. Get them while they're hot. I'm gonna get this while it's hot too. <laughs> Mission accomplished. I've got my first Go Day heel done. I just tried it on and it fits really well, which means it'll fit mom really well. I'm really liking it. I feel like I'll I'll know a little bit better about how it feels with um, my high arch. She has the high arch as well uh, when I get some of the leg done or get the leg done, which I've just started. So yeah, and I'll, ooh, speaking of the devil, hold on. That was my mom, I'm gonna call her back here in a minute, but wanted to continue sharing this with you. I'm really looking forward to finishing this and having her try it on and see what she thinks about the toe and the heel, if she's liking it. Um, I'm really glad that I went up to the 2.5 millimeter needles up a needle size because it would have definitely been too tight given that it's a single ply yarn. But yeah, I, I'm, probably gonna wind up my green yarn tomorrow i have a good chunk i don't have too many meetings i have a few projects to work on but i can really concentrate on that test knit tomorrow so i'll share that with you all next vlog 
And yeah, I'm eager to pick up some yarn pretty soon too for that tank top that I want to make. Um, but yeah, I'm feeling I'm feeling pretty good. Oh, and I had mentioned earlier in this vlog that um, I'd let you know of kind of what's going on with the shop in the next couple of months. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna wait until the next vlog to give you more details. But basically, I'm gonna be restocking a few things. I'm gonna be making some notions bags out of some previous summer time fabrics that I still have scrap fabric of. Um, that have been waiting till summertime because summertime is here you all which is crazy and um, I have a few exciting other things up my sleeve that I want to kind of get some more details in line for and share that with you all next vlog so I'm gonna call it an end to this vlog I hope that you all have a wonderful week ahead and I will see you in a couple of weeks bye